What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the interweb? Today is another day. It is a great day. Today, we're talking about another thing that we would like to see come in the new year. This is a part of a series that we do every December where we talk about things we realistically will and will not see in the new year. Today, we're actually talking about an anime. I haven't talked about an anime in this series in forever, and now that I talk about anime and movies and all that on my channel, I figured, why not? It's a great time to do it. I also want to apologize for the quality of the video. Usually I just use gameplay, but since this is an anime we're talking about, there's not really much gameplay I could use that would still be good for it. So I'm using my stream cam. I am getting a DSLR in January or maybe early February because as a part of my visa study abroad thing in Japan, I get to film a documentary. So that's kind of cool, kind of difficult, but either way, I need an actual camera to do that. So bear with me here. Play the intro. So, Toradora, one of the most beloved Slice of Life animes of all time. Slice of Life right now is bigger than it has ever been. First, it came with Kimi no Newa, best anime movie I think of all time. I mean, it even gave Akira a run for its money. And Akira was held on this high pedestal, and Kimi no Newa came through like Bowser just ran through it and was like, hey, I'm number one now. And now here it is with the animes. What's well, the number one anime of this half of the decade that's like a brand new anime you know the first half of the decade it was a tie between attack on titan and sword Art online this decade 100 percent is rascal doesn't want a bunny girl senpai that is the best anime that will release between 2015 and the end of 2019 so right now is a very good time for toradora season two let's first start off with why we realistically will not see toradora season two in 2019 we realistically will not see this anime get a second season in 2019 because it's been 10 years if they were gonna do it they would do it by now but they just released a 10 year anniversary blu-ray which had a lot of rumors speculating that there was going to be an ova to tie in the end of the series with the anime although the series itself is not ended yet the novel and everything is still going it's been going this whole time there's obviously plenty of material there for them to work with they're just not doing it but it also realistically will not work because that is an anime that needs a full 25 episode season to actually get the story across and anime nowadays are only like 13 episode seasons or they're split in half and toradora is not an anime that we need split in half so realistically it's not going to happen that way we're not going to probably get a season two of toradora this coming year but what we could get is a remake or maybe a re-release of the PSP game on the Nintendo Switch. As a lot of you guys know, Toradora is huge in the world of anime. It's absolutely huge. Even if you're new to anime, you have at least seen Toradora reactions. If you've never seen an anime at all, you've definitely seen Toradora reactions. You've seen Toradora memes. You've seen it all. It's just... It's one of those things that is like it's timely and with the nintendo switch being so huge now like the nintendo switch is on a level of popularity that the playstation 4 has never been in its lifetime so a lot of anime companies in japan are re-releasing anime style games or their classic anime games in general on the nintendo switch so it is not above the realms of possibility of something that we could actually see in the new year now let's talk about what we realistically can see toradora in the new year when i say realistically can see it in the new year i'm talking we might see it i'm not saying we are going to see it i say these are things that could lead us to seeing it in the new year as you guys know like i said in the beginning of the video slice of life is huge right now kimi no newa is huge fragrance of youth i think that's called it's either called fragrance of youth or flavors of youth it's one of the two that was a huge anime and now rascal doesn't want a bunny girl senpai another slice of life anime that is a huge everybody loves rascal doesn't want a bunny girl senpai i have not seen a single person that doesn't like it even joey the anime guy who is 100 strictly against it has even came to say that he was wrong it's a great anime this is obviously the anime for the second half of the tens what it's going to be meaning this in 10 years from now who knows it might be 10 years before we need to get another solid slice of life anime but because of the success of that we could end up getting a Toradora season two. Like I said before, there's a ton of material they could go off of. You know, it's just like, 
you know like the Torador series itself went so far past where the anime ends. The anime ends and there's still like 13, 14 years of material that they could go through if they want to make a season every single year. They probably won't do that. It'll probably just be season two to catch up between the light novel where, or not the light novel, where the manga ends for the anime and where the light novel is to today. Because the light novel is still going. It's still strong. It's still popular. And as someone who is proficient in the Japanese language, I know a lot of what's going on with it. I don't understand every single kanji because kanji is difficult, okay? Kanji is very difficult. So I don't, I'm, I'm not able to understand it completely, but I'm able to understand a lot of it. Like a lot of it. So that is something I could see coming for Torador a se second season. But realistically, if we get anything next year for Torador, it's going to be a Western release of the 10-year anniversary Blu-ray collector's edition, which I believe was like $200 in Japan. Well, when you factor it into USD. So it'll probably be like 150 in our money, which is a big, big deal because it's extremely hard to find Torador on Blu-ray. I had to resort to going to Thailand. Well, I didn't go to Thailand. I ordered it from Thailand. I had to resort to the Thailand copy of the DVD. Do you know how bad a DVD looks on modern TVs? It is horrible. It is absolutely horrid. And it's my only anime that I still have that is not on Blu-ray besides the ones that are obscure that was never re-released because of, you know, it did horrible. But Torador did not do horrible. It was the top anime of 2008. It was the top anime of the second half of the 2000s. There was not an anime half as good as Torador until Sword Art Online and Attack on Titan. And we both know what happened with Sword Art Online and Attack on Titan. They became cultural phenomenons. If they had kept this running, it would have easily became a cultural phenomenon. And I think somebody's going to try to capitalize on it because, you know, it's been a very long time. It has been a very long time since Toradora. But now here's my final verdict. Will we or will we not see a Toradora second season in 2019? I believe we'll see a Toradora re-release in the West of season one and the Ovas. I believe we will see a re-release of the Toradora video game on Nintendo Switch. And I believe that we will get some new merchandise, but I don't think we're gonna get a season two. I think a season two is still out there. I think it's still gonna come eventually because I mean, I was a little kid when this anime came out. I was 10 years old, I believe, and I'm 21 now. So there is a whole lot of nostalgia for me with this anime. Is it as good as I think it is? Yes, 100%, always. Why would you think that? Why would I even ask you that? Obviously, it's great. But is it going to be something that could grasp today's youth, today's youth that actually thinks Naruto is better than Boku no Hero? If you think that, unsubscribe right now. Just, just do it, just unsubscribe right now. Naruto is trash, One Piece is trash, they are circle jerks, Fairy Tail is boring. There you go. That is the facts of anime, okay? So, there's my final verdict on whether or not we'll see a Toradora Season 2 in 2019. I'll probably talk more about this animes and movies into this series, and I might extend this series into January, since there's just so much I can talk about, but we have 14 days left in the year. So, there we go. Actually, it's less than 14 days, it's like 13 or something, but still. There you go. There's my final verdict on Torador Season 2 for this year. We'll be back at you next year if there's some rumors or not. So go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Try not to die and I'll see you in the next video.